Hello students, welcome back for a new lesson on energy for grade 9 physics. Our lesson for today will be on heat transfer. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to differentiate between the concept of heat and temperature. What is heat? Heat is a form of energy. Just like other forms of energy, heat energy is measured in joule. Heat energy can be transferred from one body to another. For example, the heat energy of the burning wood can be used to heat water. Heat energy can be obtained from different sources. For example, the sun is a source of heat energy. The burning of wood and other fuels releases heat energy as well. Heat energy is also known as thermal energy. Now, let us have a look at what happens when an iron rod is heated. And A absorbs heat energy and becomes hot. After some time, and B also becomes hot. Therefore, we can deduce that heat flows from the hot end to the cold end. The diagram helps to explain what actually happens inside the rod. Particles at end A gain energy. They vibrate faster and end A becomes hot. Particles at end A collide with the neighboring particles. Upon collisions, they transfer some of their energy to the other particles. This process of collisions and energy transfer continues and eventually and B becomes hot. Now, let us look at how temperature differs from heat energy. Temperature is a physical quantity and it is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Its SI unit is the Kelvin. Temperature has other units as well, such as the degree Celsius and the degree Fahrenheit. Temperature is measured using a thermometer. Let us have a look at some typical values of temperature. The temperature of a healthy human being is about 37 degrees Celsius. The temperature of a cup of hot tea is about 80 degrees Celsius. The temperature inside a refrigerator is about 3 degrees Celsius. And pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, whereas pure ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius. As we have said, temperature is measured using thermometers. Thermometers can be analog or digital. We will discuss the design features of the lab and the clinical thermometer. The picture shows a lab thermometer which uses mercury as the thermometric liquid. The thermometer is used in the lab during experiment to measure temperature. The range of the lab thermometer, that is the smallest temperature it can measure, to the highest temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. The bulb contains mercury and it is made of thin glass. 
The thin glass makes the thermometer more responsive as it allows a rapid conduction of heat. The capillary tube is the tube along which the mercury moves. The bore of the capillary tube is made narrow so as to allow a noticeable movement of mercury for a small change in temperature. It is also important to point out that there are some thermometers that use alcohol as thermometric liquid. The clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of human body. This is why it has a small range, that is, from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Human body temperature lies within this range. Clinical thermometers also have a U-shaped constriction next to the bulb along the capillary tube. The constriction prevents the mercury from flowing back to the bulb so that the temperature can be measured easily. Nowadays, there is a variety of digital thermometers available on the market. We have digital kitchen thermometers which are used during cooking and baking. Digital clinical thermometers are used to measure body temperature. Digital lab thermometers are used in laboratory experiments. Students, we have reached the end of our lesson for today. Let's recapitulate what we have discussed so far. Heat is a form of energy. The SI unit of energy is the joule. Heat energy always flows from the hot end to the cold end. On the other hand, temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. The SI unit of temperature is the Kelvin. Temperature is measured using thermometers. Here are some exercises that you can attempt from your textbook. Thank you and see you soon for another lesson.